it's funny how a place that was once really significant is now just a sleepy estuary and a little village. You've got uh, the village of Bosom just over there. And in 1066, when King Harold is killed by William the Conqueror in the Battle of Hastings, King Harold is brought on a, a boat around the coast and all the way down this estuary to the church at Bosom. And I don't know what happened after that, but <laughs> I just know he was brought there. And what was once probably a really busy, bustling port that gave you easy access into London and out to France is now just this lovely little sleepy village with a beautiful estuary. And it's got some, when the tide's kind of like this, where it's just been in, it's just going out, it begins to just show these lovely curves and um, shapes in the, in, the, uh, in the land and in the sea. And I'm looking forward to capturing these today. The view back to Bosom Village and the harbour is really a quintessentially English view. You've got the South Downs in the background, which is where I live, kind of into those, into those downs. And uh, just a really lovely sense of green countryside and the sea. Beautiful. When the tide starts to go out, I love the fact that it starts to reveal different posts and old jetties, things that have kind of been there for a long time. And they're really worth adding to your photography. You know, when you are looking for composition, have a look, you know, what's in the foreground? How can I build my picture into the view to create a layer, layers and layers of depth so that it gives someone something worth looking at, not just a quick, oh yeah, swipe, swipe but something with those layers will keep attention. And things like including, you know, getting lower down, including these posts, some of the grasses, building into the shot, which obviously leads the eye into the church, which is really the main kind of pinnacle in the view. I'm forever looking for shapes, shapes and colors. And these kind of areas that have been under the sea all night and now being revealed again, there are loads of shapes, different patterns, different textures. They'll all make lovely pictures. A huge thank you to everyone who's been buying my new presets. They're linked below. Um, makes a massive difference to my channel, so thank you so much for doing that. Um, there's a, a link below to beautyinthewild.click if you want to get them. Um, Capture One presets, Lightroom presets, all there for you. Um, also, get over to photographymadesimple.uk uh, for loads of articles and tutorials about photography, and that's all free. Look at these colors. Look, amazing sun coming from the left there and because of that what it's doing is it's basically creating this um filter effect on the light because the sun's quite it's quite still quite low so, so it's got this kind of cross effect and these greens and blues and the moisture in the air all together just create this beautiful look it, i mean in, it, in itself it looks like a, a filter it's beautiful
when you come to a place that's just so peaceful, you can't help but be affected by that state of peace, that stillness. And I think that that helps to bring that mindful approach to photography that, you know, there's no rush. There's not any need to take too many photos. It's just that sense of soaking up, you know, what you're in and enjoying that. And then capturing that as you go, but it's more of a, a mindful state. Thanks for watching.